Hey guys, Game Boy Blue Chun 6 here today. I apologize for the lack of uploads by, of course, um, well, this is my first upload of 2024, and so I've made this a year ago for my Cup Series predictions. I'm like, hey, why not do it again? So, without further ado, here's my NASCAR 2024 Cup Series winners predictions, and this may not, this is obviously not accurate to real life, but this is just for fun. So, let's get right into it. So, about the Bush Clash, apparently, its its format has just about been tweaked. And the format they've been using since 2022 is pretty confusing, so I've tried my absolute best to come up with it. So, here it is. Alright, so for Heat 1... I predict that Chase Elliott would win the Heat, and drivers are making it as well will be Christopher Bell, Chase Briscoe, Chris Buescher, and Denny Hamlin. For Heat 2, I have Kyle Larson winning that one, with Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, Bubba Wallace, and Michael McDowell making it as well. And for Heat 3, I predict that Joy Legon will win that Heat, and I also predict that Ryan Priest, Martin Tricks Jr., Daniel Suarez, and Austin Cindric will also make it in as well. And for Heat 4, I predict that Ross Chastain will win that Heat with Ty Gibbs, William Byron, Ty Reddick, and Eric Jones making it in. Alright, now for the last chance qualifier. I predict that Kyle Busch will win the last chance qualifier with runner-up being Josh Berry, meaning that he will also make it in the main event too. And the bonus spot based on who finished the highest in the Challenge 1 Cup 3 standings, I'm going with Brad Keselowski. Now, who wins the main event overall? I predict that Kyle Larson will win the LA Coliseum. And if they're ever going to do medals again, just like what they did last year, then I predict that Kyle Larson will get the gold medal, silver medal will go to Joy Logano, and bronze medal will go to Ross Chastain. Next up, we have the dual races. I predict that Austin Dillon will win Duel 1, and then I predict that Kyle Busch will win Duel 2. Now, about the day 2500, I've heard that some people are are saying that Kyle Busch will win the day 2500 this year, just like how Dale Sr. did for like the 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration, and it could happen again. Well, I might see this be like the 25 years of trying and 25 years of frustration, as it's going to take Kyle Busch some time to win the Daytona 500. As here's my pick of who will win the Daytona 500 this year. Ryan Blaney. The reason why I picked him to win the Daytona 500 is because, well, Team Penske has been, been doing pretty good right now. They've won the Daytona 100 2022 with Austin Sendrick. They've won the IndyCar Championship with Will Power. They've won the Cup Championship with Joey Logano. They've won the Indy 500 with Joseph Newgarden. They've won the Coke Sun with Ryan Blaney. They've won the Cup Series Championship in 2023 with Ryan Blaney. And they've won the Rolex 24 in 2024. And hey, Ryan Blaney is a pretty decent super speedway driver in my opinion. And I think I'm pretty sure that he'll very likely win the 2500 in 2024. Now for Atlanta Super Speedway, I predict that Brad Keselowski will break his long winless streak, and he'll get his first career NASCAR Cup Series win with RFK, coming at Atlanta Super Speedway. As for Las Vegas, yep, I think Kyle Busch is pretty decent at Las Vegas, as I expect him to win at that track this year. As for ISM Raceway, I predict that William Byron will win at the track. And for Bristol, it's not Bristol Dirt, it's Bristol Concrete. Kyle Larson will win at Bristol Concrete. And yup, this is an odd choice, but I picked Kyle Busch to win at Circuit of the Americas. Well, I've seen Kyle Busch being pretty decent at the road courses ever since Rich 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 Racing. He finished runner-up at Coda in Sonoma, and even won a stage at, Co at Sonoma. And the Chicago Street Course, he hit the tire barriers in the in the first few laps of the race, but he went on to get a, to finish fifth. For any laps road course, he was like running some of the top ten. But once we got to the final stage, Kyle Busch had some mechanical failure, and that man finished in 36th place, multiple laps down. And then for Watkins Glen, Bush was about to get a top ten finish, but 
Once Jay Sully brought the caution, Bush ended up getting a top and get in, finishing outside the top twenty, top ten, and finished fourteenth in the race. And then for sh the Charlotte Roval, Kyle Busch finished third. So keep an eye out for Kyle Busch at the road courses because yeah, I have him winning that code because why not? As for Richmond, I predict that Ty Gibbs will be a first will be the first will be the only first time winner in 2024, and he is as he will win at Richmond. And then for Martinsville, I predict that Chase Elliott will break his winless streak because after going with us in 2023, he's gonna have a breakout season as he will win at Martinsville. And then for Texas Motor Speedway, I predict that Chris Busher will win at this track. Yep. With RFK rising up, I expect Chris Busher to win at least twice in 2024. Yep, for Talladega Super Speedway, I predict that Chase Briscoe will get a second career NASCAR Cup Series win, which will come at Talladega of all places. And therefore, Chase Briscoe's 2024 Cup Series win, that will be Stuart Haas Racing's final Cup Series win, as I expect the team to struggle from there on, and I expect by at the end of the 2025 Cup season, I expect Stuart Haas Racing to cease operations. As for Dover, I predict that Christopher Bell will win at Dover. And for Kansas, I picked Denny Hamlin. And for Darlington, I predict that William Byron will win at the track. And now he's the all-star race in North Wilkesboro. Format has not been announced yet, but I predict that Daniel Suarez won the all-star open as he'll make it in. As for the runner-up, Bubba Wallace will also be making it in as well. As for the fan vote, I have Alex Bowman winning the fan vote. As for whoever wins the all-star race overall, that goes to Joey Logano. I predict that Tyler Reddick will win the Coke 600. And for Gateway, that will go to Ryan Blaney. And for Sonoma, they'll go to Chase Elliott. And yup, at NASCAR's inaugural race at Iowa, I predict that Joey Logano will win the inaugural race at Iowa. He won the inaugural race at the LA Coliseum Gateway. I expect the same for Iowa as well. And yup, Joey Logano will go back to back as he'll get his win in New Hampshire. As I think the last time that Logano ever won back to back Cups races was like in like, I believe 2015. So yeah. As for National Super Speedway, I have Chris Buescher winning. And for the Chicago Street Course, I predict that Shane Van Gisbergen will win at the Chicago Street Course. He will be racing for the colleague racing number 16, as I think Shane Van Gisbergen will, will, go, will go back to back at the Chicago Street Course. But this time, Shane Van Gisbergen will win the Chicago Street Course this year in dominating fashion, meaning that he'll lead most of the laps. And for Pocono, I have Chris Rebell winning this race. And for NASCAR's return to the Breakyard 400, I have Chris Rebell winning this race as well. And for Richmond, I predict that Ty Gibbs will win that this track. Yep, Ty Gibbs will sweep Richmond this year. As for Michigan, I predict they'll go to Ross Chastain. And for Daytona, I predict that Ross Chastain will be the first driver for Trackhouse Racing to win back-to-back -back Cup Series races. As for Darlington, yep, the season, the regular season finale is held at Darlington for some reason, which is the Sun 500. Tyler Reddick will win there. Yep, Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, Brad Kozlowski, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Chris Buescher, Christopher Bell, Joey Logano, William Byron, Tyler Reddick, and Ty Gibbs all made in the playoffs based on wins alone. That will leave two open spots for drivers to make it in based on points alone. And those will go to Bubba Wallace and Daniel Suarez. Now, I know I didn't pick Mark Trix Jr. or Alex Bone for this, and I'll explain why in a bit. But for now, let's focus on the playoffs. For Atlanta Super Speedway, I predict that William Byron will win at the track, and then he'll go back to back to win at Watkins Glen. And as for Bristol, that will go to Chase Elliott. Now for the drivers going to be in round of 16. I think Chase Bristol will be an easy round of 16 exit, and I think Daniel Suarez will also get eliminated as well. 
And with Bo Wallace having some resurgence for some reason, where during the playoffs, Bo Wallace won a Talladega in 2021, and he won a Kansas in 2022, and despite not winning a single race in 2023, he made the playoffs and made it past the round 16 for some reason, but I don't see that happening for Bo Wallace, and this might come to a surprise for y'all, but yes. I have Kyle Busch getting eliminated from the round 16 in 2024. Why? Well... I think because of the fact that Rowdy Energy Drink is shutting down because that might get Kyle Busch pretty distracted. And yeah, I watched, if you were to watch Michael Maroots's prediction on how Kyle Busch reported in 2024, I think you'll understand why. But yeah, is this just Kyle Busch's first time with Richard's Racing? Well, that's his second time. This is a sophomore season race for Richard's Racing. But hey... Maybe for 2025, Kyle Busch will heavily improve. As for Kansas, I predict that Denny Hamlin went at the track. And then for Talladega, that's going to go to Ryan Blaney. And for the Shaw Roval, that's going to go to Kyle Larson. Now, the drivers are going to get 11 round 12. Those will go to Ty Gibbs, Tyler Reddick, Brad Keselowski, and Chris Buescher. That's what I thought. And for Las Vegas... William Byron will make it the Final Four based on his win at Las Vegas. And Denny Hamlin will also make it in based on his win at Homestead Miami Speedway. And Chase Elliott will sweep Martinsville this year. Now for the drivers winning 11 round of 8. Those will go to Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, and Christopher Bell. And yup, um, here's my prediction of who will win the the NASCAR Cup Series Championship this year. Now, my previous prediction video, I predicted the Kyle Busch would win the 2500, as well as the Coke 600 and the 2500 in the same year. And, well, that didn't age well. So, here's another one, and that's going to shock y'all. And I know most of y'all are going to heavily disagree with me, but let me cook. As I predict that... Oh, yeah. I also forgot. Here are the drivers going to get eliminated that made the Final Four. Obviously, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, William Byron. And, yep, I have Joy Legato make it the Final Four because if you look at the odd number curse and the even number years, Joy Legato made the Final Four, and the odd number years, Joy Legato does not make the Final Four. And 2024 is an even year, as history will likely repeat itself. All right, now it's time for the driver that I'm going to pick to see who will win the this Gears Cup Series Championship, as here we go. That's right. I predict that Denny Hamlin will win the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series Championship. I know he's very likely going to choke it again, just like how he normally does did for years, but hey, it's the playoffs, and if Denny Hamlin can manage to beat the other three playoff contenders, then he'll likely win the champion. Then he'll likely walk away with the championship. And yeah, Ryan Blaney will win this race as well. Alright, now, here are the standings. Yep, Denny Hamlin is first for having three wins. And Joy Logano will finish runner up with two wins. And Chase will finish third. And William Byron has the most wins. He'll finish fourth. Likely because of the fact that he'll have a random tire failure. Ryan Lane finished 5th, Christian Bell 6th, then Kyle Larson 7th, Tyler Reddick will be 8th, then Ross Chastain will be 9th, and Chris Busch will be 10th, and Ty Gibbs will finish 11th, then Brad Kosowski will be 12th, then Bo Walls 13th, and Daniel Suarez 14th, and yeah, I think Kyle Busch will have, a, will, have a playoff will have a season collapse in 2024 as he'll finish 15th, only being Chase Briscoe because Briscoe is racing in inferior Stuart Haas racing equipment. And yep, I predict that Martin Trix Jr. will go winless and miss the playoffs this year. Because I think age will likely play as a factor, and since Martin Trix Jr. had a horrible season collapse last year, I expect I don't expect William Byron to ever recover from his playoff collapse. As he'll likely go winless and miss the playoffs. And yes, I also have Alex Bowman being eliminated as well, because... I think Alex Bowman straight up has the Steve Park dilemma, where he ha where he ends up getting in where he, where his injuries would straight up derail his NASCAR career. And yep, Michael McDowell will finish 19th, and Eric Jones will finish 20th. And yep, 
Ricky Sinatra finished 21st, and Josh Berry finished 22nd. Yep, I definitely predict that Josh Berry will win Rookie of the Year in 2024. Um, there's an Austin Sherman finish 23rd, then Todd Gill will be 24th, then Ryan Priest will be 25th, Carson Hosser will be 26th, then Austin Dillon will be 27th, Zane Smith will be 28th, John Hernandez will be 29th, and Corey Joe will be 30th. Now, this is going to be weird and stupid, but here it is. I predict that Noah Gregson will finish 31st. Yeah, I don't expect Gregson to... I doubt that Noah Gregson will do Barrett's Ross Racing. But all I expect for him is to get at least three top tens, and that's about it. And there's Justin Haley. Yup, Rick Ross Racing's car, a driver race Rick Ross Racing race full-time. Will not finish dead last among the full-time drivers. And that might seem like an accomplishment for Justin Haley and Rick Ross Racing as a whole. Unfortunately for Daniel Hamrick, yeah... Why would Colleg Racing think that Daniel Hamrick is a is a great driver to is a, to replace Justin Haley? Like, yeah, the last thing Daniel Hamrick ever raced full time in the Cup Series was back in 2019 during his rookie season. After that, he was let go. And yeah, I don't expect Daniel Hamrick to do much as he'll more than likely finish lower than 30th in the driver standings. And yeah, Harrison Burnt will will finish dead last among the full time drivers. Yeah, because Harrison Burton is a Cup Series bust at this point. And therefore, I think after Challenge 24, Harrison Burton will be fired, and Riley Herbst will likely replace him. And thanks for watching. Enjoy my content. Then make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so you won't miss out on new videos. And please give this video a like. And yep, my watch and subscribers, only 1.5% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. Man, I need to upload more often.